Hello everybody and welcome to Mark's Box. We're continuing our City Skylines build, of course the series that we've got going on the channel. And uh, today we're finally going to get going with our farm. Last episode we did start with a little bit of our farm here and you can see it in the background over here. Just a little bit of stuff that we did with our farms, the beginning of our big farming industry and it's the first proper part of the city. Uh, so before we head on into it and uh, continuing to build the farm, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment what you want to see next. And I still need a name for the city, please give me a name and some names for this industry area as well because we need a new name for the farm as well. So let's head on right into it. Cool, so I uh, just want to get that up there. There we go. Cool. So now you see we've got this farm over here. It's looking nice. It's looking interesting. Um, got pigs there, sheep there. Maybe let's have some Highland cows. Cows. Yeah. So we've got a whole bunch of different animals there. Now it's looking very very nice in that little corner there. So I quite like it up here. It's it's going to be very very nice to keep the farm somewhat in the bottom of the mountain here it's like almost like you know the British Cotswolds you know it's a sort of hilly sort of area we're gonna have lots of these sort of things going across and you see let's just try and increase the number of bushes that we've got here um, and we're gonna try and keep these going along the roads all the time that's gonna make it look like a really really nice area it's gonna be quite interesting of course uh, to try and see if we can get that working quite nicely just want to try and get some more of this sort of stuff around it but look at that it's looking very very nice looking very very pretty and uh we've then got our little town center which is going to be watered and we will put a water um, thing for themselves there as well and i think perhaps we might even attempt to put in i mean this could be quite a nice area to have you see there's a big waterfall over here i think we might actually be able to put a um dam wall there it's like we can dam this up and make a big dam in between the mountains so that could be quite useful for power uh so that's something we've got to think about um but let's keep on designing our farm area so we've got to go to our farming industry and we've got this big thing which i can't stand i wish i could make it smaller um can't seemingly oh uh, well um not a huge problem so we want to build um i think i can get rid of it so disturbingly irritating so i don't want it so big that's the bigger issue is the fact that it's massive it gets in the way of everything um okay so we've got our animal what we want now of course is the crops we want crops and lots of crop land so let's try and put in now we want to keep them separate so that we don't have major traffic buildup going into all these different areas so we see we've got the storage facility for these guys over here and we're going to have I think the parlor and stuff over there, it's going to go over there, so they're just going to go out that road there, go up to parlor there, and send it on its way into the highway. And I think we might have a train station set up somewhere or other. Um, we'll get that set up at some point. So, what we do want to do is make sure that we try and keep everything separate. So, let's try and get some more crops going perhaps this way. In all the industry things that we make, we've got farms and fruit fields. And uh, of course, then we've got the animals part of it. So now let's keep the crops completely separate, put them down here. And how far away is it going to be from the city center? I think we're going to have a few people living here, just a little village basically. A little village. So let's try and get the crops perhaps going over here. And I just said, I just don't want to make it too big in terms of allowing. Um, Fine. Just do that so that it doesn't get confused. Right, so uh, we've got one crop farm in there. And so I'm going to keep surrounding it by the road. The reason for that is very, very simple. Uh, it's so that we don't have this issue uh, where cars completely don't know where it's what's going on. And we're going to. Oh, 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 that's way too close. Uh, let's just move that quickly. That's perfect. Uh, basically is to try and create the sort of farm field you see that's what more or less these fields are going to look like you see there's always like a boundary in between these fields so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that boundary going with some roads or perhaps we should just put bushes in between just to have the road going around the outside i think actually that might be a better idea so we can just make this only to three square blocks and same thing there three square blocks and maybe we'll go another keep going with that 
and we'll put another three square blocks over there. Now, none of the greenhouses are going to be put in. Um, actually, perhaps let's not put that there because um, that's going to be a problem. Sorry, we're going to move that. Just going to move that away. Let's try and get another part of the farm over here. Where should we put this? I don't want to have them all on the same farm. You know what? I'm actually going to do that because that's where this guy's going to move. We're going to move off to opposite this guy. Yeah. Can we have two roads going like that? I think that'll be fine, won't it? That'll be nice. That'll be nice. It'll be interesting. Uh, we're going to do that around it and then of course these guys can connect up there so we've got one square there and let's put another square around the back here and we're going to go all the way across to that same thing it's a looking a little bit square but it's okay I what we might do so we don't just drag that down I think the issue is that it's not quite aligned perfectly there we go but so then what we're going to do is quickly balance off this whole area here to take our brush drink right down to next to nothing because it is quite effective in terms of doing that let's just minimize that take these guys up oh no 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 just decrease this area Bit of a hill, isn't it? Um, yeah, this brush strength's a bit too strong. Let's take it right down to point two. Basically, all that we're doing is making this look a little bit smoother so that we don't have these big old jaggedy areas here. Again, now let's move it over this area here. Make it look a little bit more smooth. Let's increase that size. Smooth them off. That should now look a lot better. Look at that. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, and then we want to put some fields on this side as well, of course. Um, but we've got our fields going. So that's perfect. That looking that's looking actually very nice. Yeah, so now let's just determine what we're growing. Up this side, we're going to have some corn. Uh, let's have some cotton. Potatoes, that's fine. And then this side, we're going to have some wheat. Let's have two wheats and maybe another corn. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, and then again, we're going to come with our fantastic little thing. We're going to head it up in between here. Uh, so we've got like a boundary thing. So it's looking more or less like the UK sort of farm. So they've got those hedging boundaries between the fields keeps it nice and good I, I, I suppose there's another way of calling it I suppose this is something we want to fix isn't it uh, let's make that a lot smaller brush size what we want to do is slightly decrease the height on this side here and then we want to smooth it over not quite go so big That's not looking brilliant over here, I won't deny that. Now, there is a mod that I can use. I can't actually remember what the name of the mod is. You guys can try and tell me. Uh, although, having said that, it's hiding in quite nice little trees. But there's a mod where you can essentially move the actual physical building to be taller, etc. Like that. If somebody could tell me the name of that mod, I'm very much grateful. Um, can't quite remember it right now. So that's that side there. And then we're going to go around right the inside. That's perfect, 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 perfect. Just gonna keep that going, keep that going. Just to fill in this whole area. Now again, the reason why I don't skip past all of this and I show it all on screen is because I don't want anything to happen off screen preferably because people sometimes ask, oh well hang on, how did you do that? And why did this occur? And they wanted to see how that all happened. So to try and ensure that we do have that going. Um let's put that up there. Oh, right, so now we've got that little part of the farm here. That's actually looking pretty nice. Uh, and then what we want to do is on the edge of these 
you see these guys over here, these guys are processing. So now we want a flour mill, although we do need to have grain silos. We want a large grain silo from, for all of these guys. We're going to have one on this side as well for all of them. So they've got one each essentially got. Um, Again, we want to decrease this area here, make it look less obviously built into the terrain as it's built on or increase the size. That's better that side, it's a little bit slightly too high, but then it's much, much nicer. And over here, we're just going to have to increase the size over here, just to smooth it out. Again, we're going to have to increase the size quite dramatically there and there. Let's get a smooth operator out here. Smooth operator. And uh, you've now decided to jump back up. So let's take you back down. Right, that's not looking too bad. Um, so we've got our grain silos for all of these guys here. So they've got somewhere where they can go and take these uh, their stuff through to go and demarcate it for these ones and demarcate it for these ones. So that's perfect. And these guys are going to come through here. And I think we're going to have our flour mills and processing units around over here. So we've got our barns for those guys. We've got these here. We don't have any plant things here yet. I think we might put them down here. Uh, so let's go and get a flour mill. We need a road for the flour mill is the only issue. And uh, we're going to have the flour mill based over here. Let's have our flour mill based. Cool. And this is a cattle shed. That's a milking parlor. That's a slaughterhouse. That's all to do with them. So we're going to have two perhaps of these guys over here. That should be more than enough. But if we need to, we'll increase the various means of uh, getting um, more supplies I think sorry I was losing words I was trying to figure out where was I going with this I was going to say something and I just completely lost where I was going with it uh, and yeah we're just going to need to if, if they're not getting enough supplies from these guys over here then we'll just increase the amount of these guys we have all right so let's go and just increase the brush size there just smooth this out because it's not particularly smooth right now no, that's fine I actually complain too much and again, we're going to have those things going around it, but what we want to do is ensure that this is actually basically a one lane. Um, we're going to come down here. You know what, we're going to make this like a proper farm. Skirting around. We're going to join onto there. That's going to go to the milking parlors. These two. One that goes to the milking parlor, and one that goes into the city there. So we've got a, a direction straight onto the city, well, town rather, but it connects them obviously onto that route there, it's the main road. And these guys over here we want to completely separately as well. Going into that point there. Right. Um, most of them will want to leave that way, and what we'll do is we'll have the cattle parts, so the slaughterhouse and cattle shed, will be over here, separate routes that you can go down. And, uh, maybe we'll have one over here, I think we'll have a separate part over here. Let's put our cattle shed here need one in the milking parlor next to it perhaps move them down a little bit oh we're gonna have a little bit of an issue there let's move them back just one let's fix this terrain over here we're gonna decrease the terrain height Do you know what actually I'm gonna keep this as a somewhat of a um like the reason for that is I'm going to put some rocks there. It's going to look very, very nice. And I think we're going to do that 
uh, but later, not immediately. These guys will see, run back on. And you guys can go there to go milk. And then the slaughterhouse, unfortunately, is going to be further down the road. Just stretch here. And we're going to have a big old slaughterhouse based on them. Right, so the slaughterhouse is set up. Now let's just go and decrease the height to make it all look nice. Increase on this side. Uh, yeah, we're increasing nicely. Now we can't afford to do too much building in the farm now because otherwise we're going to actually run out of money. You can see we've already dropped from, well, I think before we start this, we were around about 450k. We're already down to 100. So we're going to need to somewhat uh, probably give this up. Well, not give this up, but certainly start thinking about moving uh, this along. Okay, so we've got our animals over here. They're going to travel down this road. They want to go milk them or they want to go and put them in a the shed. They put them there and they can go to the slaughterhouse there for the majority of them. They get stored away in these barns over here. We've got large barns for all four of them. Then separately to that, we've got our wheat fields uh, and otherwise seeded fields, I suppose, which are all got their own little silos for each one. They've got two flower mills over there, which they go to, of course, and if they want to go directly back onto the road and get out into the city, they go down that way. If they want to go there first, they go there and then out. So that should all run quite nicely. That's actually not too bad. Of course, we're going to fill this in with a lot of bushes along the side, and we're going to make it look quite nice in between. Um, but otherwise, it's looking fine. I think what we just want to do is increase the height of the here because we don't want any obvious cliffs. It's a hilly area rather than a cliffy area, if that makes sense. Um, so let's do that, and we're going to smooth out this whole section here. Is that going to look fine? And then you guys are also going to smooth out nicely. Smoothy, smooth, smooth. Uh, that's not looking too bad. It's actually quite a nice little road. And the same concept over here. We just want to smooth this out a little bit. Maybe increase these guys. That uh, increase there. And then just smooth it all out. Okay. That's not looking too half bad. Now we just need to. Uh, what do I want to do with this cliff area? I think this cliff area is going to be quite nice. What I want to do is I want to put rocks there. Uh, let's go to the rocky section. I'm going to have some rocks. I want small rocks, please. Not these massive, giant. Oh my word, that's huge. Uh, no, that's even bigger. These are all massive. I don't want massive rocks. I want just little ones. Do we have great trees? rocks. No, these are rocks. I want rocks, but these are massive, massive rocks. I want small rocks, please. Uh, apparently, this is a brush size with small rocks, maybe. I don't know. I'm getting I, I'm getting told there's a brush option for this. Some rocks. Not. I'm just going to put these small rocks here. Take them down. It's a huge. I might come back to this because I'm not sure about the look of these things. No, I'm not so sure about the look of that, am I? <laughs> I think we're just going to delete that for now. We'll come back to it. So that's not looking fantastic. But we've got the means. Of a farm here, and I think we're going to put a little village here just to sort of more or less go into that. And of course, the main village for this area is going to be over here, and it's going to be beautiful overlooking the side here. I think you know what we might do? We might do with those plants over here. We might have it as a separate um, thing. So, that's the one farm over here, which has got both wheat and animals, and uh, then we've got our other plant over there, which will work quite nice. I think we can go down this little valley. So, that could be quite nice with the road going through it, of course, the main road, and then just a little that little section there. So, we've got the beginnings of our farm here. Um, yeah, and I think we're going to end that episode right there. So, guys, thank you so much for watching Mark's Box, of course, our City Skylines game. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment what you want to see. I need names for things, people. I need ideas. And uh, let me know if I'm on the right track. But otherwise, guys, I hope you have a great week. And uh, stay around on Mark's Box. Be sure to subscribe. Goodbye.